Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's brief lesson on how we greet, welcome, and treat guest teachers when they come to Waldo. Um, this may seem obvious, but it's important that we explicitly state what we expect from you so that when guest teachers come to the building, they have a good impression of our school and the day goes well for everybody. So the first question we're going to answer is, who are guest teachers? Uh, and this may seem obvious, but uh, there may be some things you don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and explicitly state them so that you know and understand who guest teachers are when they come into the room. The first thing you need to know is that guest teachers are certified teachers in the state of Oregon. They cannot walk into Waldo, they cannot walk into your classroom unless they are certified by the state, which means that they must have a college degree. Um, some teachers have bachelor's degrees, most teachers have master's degrees. Uh, you have to have a minimum of a bachelor's degree, which means you must at a minimum have completed four years of college and therefore been able to have the discipline, organizational skills, and grit to accomplish that goal. That is not unimportant. Also, in addition to being a college graduate, uh, guest teachers must also be certified as substitute by the State Teachers uh, Standards and Practices Commission, which um, usually means they have to be student teachers and have education above and beyond their basic degree. Uh, in my case, I got a master's degree, and as part of my master's degree, I got my teaching certification. Uh, in many cases, uh, substitute teachers are retired teachers who have had long careers, have decided they want to retire, but they still want to be in the classroom. So they come into the classroom as substitutes on days when they have availability, which is nice for them. If they want to go on vacation, they can go on vacation. If they want to take days off, they can take days off. But on days when they feel like being available, they can make a difference by coming into the classroom and being guest teachers. And that way they maintain a connection to their career. They maintain a connection to different buildings in the district, and often more than one district. And they get to be around kids because believe it or not, as teachers, we actually like being around kids. And in many cases, uh, your guest teachers are new teachers who have just finished their education or have just finished their student teaching and they are substituting while they wait to get hired for permanent positions. Uh, teaching jobs, uh, despite what you might think, are actually pretty difficult to get. It's very competitive. There's many candidates for single position and it sometimes takes a while to get a teaching job. I know in my case, it took me a considerable amount of time to get a teaching job and I was very grateful uh, to be hired here at Waldo when I was because I had been a substitute for quite some time. And quite frankly, being a substitute made me a better teacher, um, not just for the challenges I faced as a substitute, but for the opportunities I received when I was a substitute. So I'm actually grateful for that period in my life. So the next part of this, of course, is when you do have a guest teacher in the classroom, how should you behave? And I really shouldn't need to say this, but the entire point of this le lesson is making explicit what is normally implicit. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. Uh, when you have a guest teacher in the classroom, they are guests in your room. They should be treated as guests. They should not be treated as invaders or as imposters. Uh, they are there by invitation because for some reason your regular teacher can't be there that day. Um, it is a very good thing that we have guest teachers and therefore they should be treated as guests. Uh, if you see a guest teacher struggling and they're having difficulty, it is actually your job and your duty to step up to the plate and try and be helpful. Uh, if you see them struggling with technology, which does happen in my class, if you see them struggling trying to find the proper materials or they don't quite know what the classroom procedures are, 
In many cases, you are going to know the answer to that question, and you can actually be helpful. If you think you can be helpful, step up to the plate and help, because that's what we expect you to do, and that's what leaders do, and that's what the Waldo Way calls upon you to do. So if you find yourself in that situation, step into the breach and make a difference. It will mean a great deal to the guest teacher if you do. And most guest teachers know what they're doing, but sometimes they walk in, they've had to cover for another class, the lesson plans aren't right there in plain sight, and it takes them a while to get themselves going. So just be helpful in those situations. Uh, this should be obvious, but I'm going to go out there and say it. A guest teacher is not, I repeat, not someone to take advantage of, exploit, or mistreat. If you see a guest teacher struggling, your duty and task is not to pile on. Your duty and task is to help them, not exploit them, not mistreat them. I can tell you if I receive a report from a guest teacher with names and with details that explains behavior that I would not put up with if I was there, um, consequences are certain to flow from that. Um, that is not acceptable. And you should know that even though you might think you're getting away with something because there's a guest teacher in the room, um, there is something called karma and it will catch up with you. So the bottom line is being kind to a guest teacher is actually more important than being kind to me, being kind to your normal classroom teacher, because you have to see us every day. If you have a bad day, you know you're going to see us the next day and you're going to see us the day after that. And there's going to be a relationship there over time. And that relationship is going to be based on how you act, how you behave, how you comport yourself and how you step up to the plate each day as a student. Uh, with a guest teacher, sometimes it's one and out, and that better be the best face that you're putting forward because that's what they deserve, and that's what I expect, and that's what every teacher at Waldo should expect. So, end of speech, ladies and gentlemen. That is today's lesson on guest teacher expectations. I realize I'm probably stating the obvious, but there it is. This is once again.